on the start of Sebring. stays out in front, fair old distance as well, as now it corrects itself. Go all the way to the back. 19th place, Kotze. His Julian's made some impression as Dan. Ooh. I swear I went back further than that. There we go, Laurie in 19th as we see the field spread. So we jump before the bait. let's see the chase for the lead. Red line, Renault, Aaron, Darken, are all very, very close together. Everybody's in a line. Oh, there's somebody off. Who's off? Loyal. Loyal's cutting the grass. Rejoined in front of Laurie, I think. Oh, Laurie's had to take evasive action. like he's interested in the inside of Dan. ahead of Dan and up into 12th. Let's go a bit further forward. I think 8th place. Back of Darken, Aaron, Eagle, Renault. Renault would be disappointed by this. He had a really good quali. Just a couple of seconds ahead of fell. having a good fight with Renault further forward Brad is in third Mute and Bullet the top three it looks like Delete missed out on this one which is a shame unfortunately Xbox is a bit shite tonight have a look around shall we so let's have a quick rundown of the top 10 let's see where we are bullet in first mute bradders eagle aaron renewed darken nafel cragadon that scotty guy in temp we are with now sorry scotty guy in temp a bit of a gap behind him cotsy 11th stevie julian dan trigger julian started last Trigger and Dan looks like they're side by side. Trigger's on the inside. Doyle's found his way back up to 15th. Redline and Danzilla looks like they've had some sort of contact somewhere. Alright, Danzilla is going slowly, slowly. Redline also going slowly, slowly. Hardly sure why he didn't pit. Mm. 
Car does look a little bit broken. And he's pulled out. At that point, they could have even called a safety car. Two cars were damaged. Clearly, two or more cars are damaged and the safety car can be called. Could have been given the chance to rejoin at the back of the pack. Jump on board with Stevie. He's got Julian in front of him and Kotsi in front. Julian's all over the back of Kotsi. Great line there from Julian. You see him with the run on the inside of Kotsi. The move is done. He's having a lovely little rub as he comes past. Oh, I've got that back. Yeah, the move's done. Julian's up into 11th. Go back to this fight. Ooh, and it looks like Renault is chasing on the back of Aaron. Eagle and Darken behind him. Aaron, let's jump on board with Aaron. Looks like he's going to get interested with Eagle very, very soon. Aaron's had a bit of an up and down race. Eagle's already taking the defensive line. You can see what Aaron's thinking. All the while, just give the front three an opportunity just to stretch their legs slightly. Somebody please remind me to put it back onto timings after this. I don't think Aaron will be behind him for too long. Slight contact between the two. Aaron now pops out. A little bit of a waggle. Renaud is behind. Aaron looks like he could get the move done, but I think Eagle will have the advantage under brakes. Oh, and they have a bit of a door rub. Renaud saw the opportunity to get past. Oh, not entirely sure what happened there. Looked like there was any contact, but I might have been wrong. Now we're going to see Renu make the comeback attempted. There was no damage. And he tries the, <laughs> the line on the outside. It looks like he's going to force his way through. Didn't quite get the move done. I had visions of Kotsi smacking into a tyre barrier there.
stick with lime. Yeah, I agree, Lucky. I don't, I don't think I can put that on Aaron. Yeah. Again, it'd be interesting to see what happens on a different view of it, but it, it just looked as though it spun out. Spend a bit of time with the SVR livery bullet. Apparently, it's a black edition, but not a lot of black going on here. It's got himself a decent from Mute and Bradders. Oh, didn't mean to skip Mute then. Mute goes in the ESV livery. Just maintained a bit of a gap to Eagle. Darkens a little bit further back and Cragadon. Obviously, you know, don't know where they are in terms of pits yet. battles going on at the minute, so let's spend a bit of time with Loyal chasing down Coxie. Oh, we are Mercy, eh? Mercy says the SVR Libri is of the best. I don't know, I think once you've seen it once, you've seen it a hundred times. It's definitely a good looking motor, however, they need to change the design up just a little bit. Throw some colour in or something. I don't know. The dark and coming around the final corner. Looks like Nafel is. Well, I think it lied to me. Was closing the door, closing the gap to darken a bit. Just see where Julian comes out with the pits because you know he started last without quali. That pole, I'll ignore that one, mate. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm. All I can say is you should have been racing, mate. You know, look like Mr. Blobby. I think I would actually. I'd rock that car. I'd rock the pink and yellow polka dots, Dad Pole. However, how's your connection issues getting on, bro? Ouch. Oh, as Cotsy runs wide, it's going to give loyal... No, it wouldn't. It would have done. Right, let's see. Let's see who's had a pit. Still, not many of them. Are in that holding pattern scenario. Danzilla, all right, all right. Well, maybe he's not. Um, I like Indy. I do like Watkins, though, Mercy. Watkins will be a good race, I think. One of them tracks that always throws up something. That's why I like Laguna so much. Always throws up a good race. No, no links, 
no leaks at all. Um, I would get into the prototype one. Um, we did think about it. Um, it's more of a, it's a much harder cars to drive. The, the worry would be eliminate, we'd be limiting the lobby to only the elite few that can drive them well. But conversation was had. Right, let's go find a fight. Come on. Obviously, Danzilla's way out of place. He had an accident early on. Um, and Redline was also involved in that accident, but Redline quit out. Um, Cruise Cup. Mm. I like the idea of that one. Dan is closing the gap slightly to Scotty. At least the pit lane closes this lap. So we should say these guys going in just as they cross this corner. They make it round. So Brad is, is likely to be the first of the non-pitters. The first of the pitters, sorry. He's got Aaron right behind him again. Aaron's had a decent recovery. goes around the final corner with Aaron closing the gap on him. Maintained a decent gap out in front of him. Jeez. Fell again, getting closer to the back of Darken. Aaron looks like he's ready to attack Bradders. Let's stick with this one for at least a lap. See if Aaron can uh, keep it under 75 feet. Aaron needs the points. He's, he's done his drop round. I think this would be a good re be a good round for Aaron to score some good points. He was top of the thing. This is race one, Mercy. Uh, there was a delay while we were trying to get people to connect. Fortunately, Xbox shit the bed, so we were trying to get people into the lobby. Looks like Brad has pulled a slight gap on the out on Aaron now. As the fell has to run wide in his battle with Darken. Seems as though it's uh, waiting for the carnage of race two as uh, Renault is all over the back of Julian as we hit the tenth and final lap. We go out towards the front, see Bullet. Well, it's got a fairly decent lead from Mute. I think this is probably likely to stay where this is. Let's go see Renu and Julian. Of course, with a 50% reverse grid, it will be top 10 will be reverse. 
So they will be starting, one of these two will be starting on the front row in the next race. If it's renewed, he could just leave everyone slightly. Keep an eye on Bullet as he comes round the couple of corners to go. American Missile heading down the straight for the final time in race one. And come to the final corner, get his braking done. That's it. Down the corner he goes. Tuck it in. Go straight. Bish bash bosh. Race one win. Bullet with a win. Mute. Mute in second. Bradders and Aaron to come across the line fairly close together. In fifth, it's Eagle. And then Darken and Nafel, they'll also cross the line very close. Julian in eighth. Renewed in ninth. Just in ninth. Cragadon tenth. Dan eleventh. Scotty Guy twelfth. Loyal thirteenth. Trigger fourteenth. Coxy fifteenth. Stevie sixteenth. Laurie seventeenth. And Denzilla, unfortunately, with a race to forget down in 18th. Hit it twice, for, once for damage. We will watch old Denzilla, you know. It's the Grand Turismo? No, Need for Speed car. I never know what's what on old. So, race two will start in around about five minutes time uh, so for those that don't tend to watch every week I'll spend the first lap with Bullet because he won the last race and he'll be starting in 10th interesting to see how he comes through the pack Danzilla heads towards the final turn Alright, so that's race one done. Um, I'll stop the stream and then we'll go for race two very soon.